Hey guys, what is going on? So I'm here with my 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the uh, inline six, which doesn't matter for this video. Uh, what does matter though is this roof rack. So to get started on today's video with deleting the roof rack, I actually got this idea um, from my friend, but one of my other friends actually did it and I liked the turnout. His name was Roast Tires. Um, he has a 2003 Ford Explorer Sport Track. Um, but yeah, he did this roof rack delete and uh, that's what I'm doing now. So if you have a 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee or, or a 99 to 04, it was the same, same kind of body style as this. Um, basically this is clipped on, comes off, and then there's a screw, I'm not sure, I think it's, it's, uh, it's some kind of a torx, but I don't know, I used, I used an Allen key though, uh, you don't want to put too much pressure on it, if you can't get it, you do want to uh, actually get the correct screw size, but I'm not sure what it is. Or the uh, actual, I apparently can't focus on this either. But you can see it's an Allen key. It's, I'm not sure what size this is. But this fits on there fairly well. And I uh, just twist it off. And it comes off. Um, I do apologize that I don't know what size it is. But um, if you're doing this now, <laughs> and even though you've done a lot of maintenance on your vehicle, you think it's clean, this is dirty. I have taken care of this car a lot. I have washed it a lot. And I thought I've gotten it done, but I haven't. I'm actually gonna pick up this other screw I threw down. So I'm pretty sure all of these are the same. I'll show you where the rest of them are and I'll show you what it looks like after I finish taking the, the roof rack off. Um, I'm gonna assume that you have to take these off, um, but I'll, I'll figure that out and I'll show you guys how to do it. But this pulls up, you can slide it. Um, that's that. There's actually another screw here, and you could tell mostly by this being there, uh, where it just connects to the top of the car. There's gonna be another one right there. Another, yeah, one, and then there. Uh, not sure. There's a couple somewhere in there. Uh, and then I'm assuming that this is gonna also pop off like clips as the front one did, and there's gonna be one right there as well. But uh, I'll, I'll do the entire side of it, and uh, I'll get back to you guys with what it looks like after I delete the roof rack. All right guys, so I deleted the roof rack. Uh, it's a little dirty from where it was, but I'm gonna have to clean it another day because it looks like it's trying to rain. So I'm gonna fill these holes with these screws. Now I did put, I am putting, um, correction, uh, I am putting uh, some silicone on there. I wish I could have found this yesterday for Jordan because uh, I actually assisted him with uh, sealing the holes. We actually used a uh, thread locker. It's the same thing, but it's gonna be really hard to get off. But uh, I just, I'm just putting a little bit in there and then, uh, I'm gonna tighten the screws down all the way. And uh, it should seal pretty good. I figured I'd go ahead and tell you guys how I'm doing this. So basically I'm taking the silicone sealant right there and I'm putting it on the bottom of the screw. Right, or at the top of the screw I mean. Right on there, at the very tip of my thumbnail, or fingernail. Right there, all the way around, and then a little bit on threads at the, at the top, right here. The, the top maybe five threads. That way, when it screws in, it'll also lock in at the threads and around the top piece here. And I know it's kind of blurry, but you see the, thread, uh, the threads down in there, and then this uh, washer type system. But that's how I'm doing that. Um, if you guys have any questions, I, I may have missed a couple things. Uh, I'm just trying to hurry before it rains. I know it's supposed to rain tonight, but uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will uh, definitely get back to that. 
All right guys, so this is actually the next day. Uh, I did end up cleaning this with a, uh, maybe like a 60-40 solution of uh, purple power. And I just uh, wiped it off and wa rinsed it down. Um, I wouldn't put a full concentration of purple power on there just because it'll probably eat the paint. But uh, I did leave this tape here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to get it off. It's still stuck really good on the bottom. But I can't figure out how I'm going to do that. So I just left that there. Yeah, so I did that. Uh, the screws, all of them are like this. I didn't do... I did not do it around this piece, except for over there, where it actually, let's see, my camera's not going to focus. That one right there, you can see it. I just filled that hole with, um, I just filled that with the silicone that I showed you guys, and uh, left the screw out because I the threads on that were screwed, um, on the, the, actually the, the bolt itself were all messed up. Um, so I just went ahead and filled it filled the entire thing with um, The silicone so if you don't want the screws you can leave those out and just fill it with silicone, but you got to make sure it's uh, Nice and sealed because it's a big gap for that to hold But uh, I, I, I sprayed water on it and it did pretty well And you can see all of them are um, Pretty clean for what they are anyway, but um you can kind of see, let's see, right there, you can kind of see all of them will kind of come through the, the, the headliner a little bit, but you can see right, right there where one of them is, and they're all like that, they're just really hard to see, like right there, there's one, uh, there's one, but uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys, and uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do, and I will see you guys in the next video.